A tropical cyclone might be forming northwest of New Zealand. Meanwhile, two other rainmakers are on their way for Australia and New Zealand. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We talked yesterday about this potential tropical cyclone. Well, the low pressure is deepening up here in the Solomon Sea area. And this area of low pressure over the next couple of days likely to drift into the Coral Sea, deepen and then it might become a tropical cyclone. Might, it's still early days. But the computer modeling is becoming more confident that a low pressure system will form up here and drift towards New Zealand. But the jury's still out on whether or not it will impact us in any sort of adverse way, any sort of serious way. Let's take a look though and see what else is happening because we've seen all this rain around Wellington. Uh, there is a bit more wet weather today, but mostly high pressure as we go through the next uh, 12 hours. So hopefully those rain clouds will start to fall apart. Meanwhile, the next burst of rain comes in for Eastern Australia as the summer of rain continues, at least in some areas. So let's take a look at the forecast as we get into Wednesday. The good news is around Wellington, that rain eases. We see some showers a little bit further north. It's still warm across New Zealand. We've still got this northerly flow coming down, and so temperatures will be up. Meanwhile, low pressure out here in New South Wales and uh, parts of Queensland. We'll see more rain and showers developing through parts of Sydney, and you've got a cooler southerly flow, not too cold, but a cooler southerly or southeasterly flow for Melbourne and Adelaide as well. So we've got this low pressure zone. This is where it is on Wednesday. It's near Honiara in the Solomon Sea, uh, the Coral Sea right next to it here. So this is the zone of, uh, well, that we're monitoring. At the moment, not a storm, but there are thunderstorms in the area. As we move through to Thursday, we've got rain returning to the west coast, we've got rain returning to the east coast, depending on which country you're in. Uh, that low pressure zone around uh, New South Wales, Queensland area deepens and drives in a bit more rain. And once again, those windy easterlies develop at the bottom of the country. Over in New Zealand, the rain returns to the west coast, only a couple of showers for Northland and further south, and it's still pretty warm across the country. But another burst of heavy rain on the way. So the west coast is looking at over 100 millimetres still yet to come through, and there could be another 40 or 50 millimetres coming in for the ranges in the lower North Island. And Australia is also caught up in this heavy rain, around 70 millimetres in this zone here. And locally, you might even get over 100 millimetres here and there. The summer of rain, that's what I was talking about before. So we get to the end of the week, Friday, and that low pressure so zone in Sydney starts to move out into the Tasman Sea. A couple of showers in New Zealand, still got that warm northerly. In fact, might also be a shower up there around Northland and that low pressure zone drifting further towards the Coral Sea and deepening a little bit. Into Saturday, this low deepens further and now drifting closer to New Caledonia and potentially Vanuatu. It's still a bit borderline for you. The low pressure zone in Sydney drifts out to sea and the strengthening winds behind it mean that there could be some coastal gales. But in New Zealand, not so windy, but the rain clouds do start to roll on in. And by the way, a colder southerly develops the very south of the country. And then we move on to our last map and that low gets even deeper, 987 hectopascals. It could even be going lower than that. That's not too major just yet, but the modeling yesterday showed it uh, down into the 970s. So the modeling is still trying to work it all out. Sea temperatures up here are very hot, much warmer than usual. Uh, down in the New Zealand area though, high pressure parked to the south means that there's a cooler southerly moving up and you've got those easterly winds coming through. So Sunday we'll see a bit more wet weather coming back in again to the lower North Island, the summer of rain. It continues. And our final map for Tuesday next week, just trying to track where this storm system might go. Now, I have to emphasize, not every computer model is showing it looking like this. In fact, some others show it as a very weak low pressure zone, but in the same area. So what that means is there's a bit of confidence that we're seeing low pressure in this area here, but whether or not it's going to be a tropical cyclone and given a name, that is still not uh, yet known. And whether or not it will come into New Zealand as a storm, I mean, if you were looking at that map, you'd say there's a good chance. But then you see these other maps and you're like, OK, maybe not. So that's what we've got to work out. And the reason why there's uncertainty, 
this big high right here. This high just has to move a little bit closer back to New Zealand and that low goes out to sea or stays up in the tropics. So one to keep an eye on, it could still swing in quite a large area. It's not locked in just yet, but there is uh, increasing confidence that we will be seeing some sort of tropical storm uh, around the Solomon Sea, Coral Sea area by maybe the end of this week or certainly this coming weekend. We'll keep you up to date. Our next update will be tomorrow, Wednesday.